The fungital assay is a companion diagnostic tool for invasive fungal disease based on the analysis of 1,3-beta-D-glucan in adult human serum samples. The fungital assay provides rapid results within one to two hours. This video will demonstrate effective techniques for performing the fungital assay. It can be used as part of your introductory training or as refresher training. The fungital kit should be removed from the refrigerator approximately 30 minutes before use to allow all components to reach room temperature. The fungital kit includes the instructions for use, or IFU, printed in English. Translations of the IFU are available in 19 languages on our website fungital.com. The instructions for use should be read carefully before performing the fungital assay as they contain regulatory, scientific and validation information, references and suggestions for appropriate sample collection and storage. Each fungital kit contains sufficient reagent to perform two full fungital assays, including two vials of glucan standard used for preparing the glucan standard curve, two vials of LAL reagent water or LRW used for preparing the glucan standard, glucan standard curve and the fungital reagent, two vials of alkaline pretreatment solution or APS used for pretreatment of serum samples, two vials of pyrosol buffer also used for reconstituting the fungital reagent, and two vials of fungital reagent. Consumables required for the assay but not included within the kit are a set of pipettes capable of delivering aliquots between 5 microliters and 1000 microliters, 96 well flat bottom polystyrene microplates, glass dilution tubes and pipette tips. These can all be purchased from ACC, while other materials can be sourced through your laboratory supplier, such as repeating pipette tips and parafilm cut to approximately 1 square inch segments. Note that all consumables should be of molecular grade or equivalent. All ACC consumables are certified to be free of detectable beta-glucans to avoid issues with BDG contamination. To perform the fungital assay, you will need an incubating plate reader capable of reading at 405 nanometers, ideally a dual wavelength incubating reader capable of reading at both 405 and 490 nanometers. Software which can perform linear regression and a mean V or max V data analysis. A clean, dust free environment for assay preparation, ideally a biosafety cabinet prepared with a decontamination solution applied with cellulose free wipes. And a set of pipettes capable of delivering aliquots between 5 microliters and 1000 microliters. Launch the software, in this example, Gen 5 by Agilent Technologies, previously Biotech. Referencing specifications from the IFU, select your fungital protocol. In this example, we'll perform testing on 21 serum samples. The number of samples in an assay can be changed in the plate layout. Enter your sample information and finish software setup by adding reagent and consumable lot numbers. With software selected and instruments and materials assembled, the workspace is ready for standard curve preparation. All vials should be uncapped and covered with parafilm. Unused components can be placed back into the fridge. The glucan standard curve consists of five concentrations made from serial dilutions of the glucan standard with LAL reagent water. Remove six glass dilution tubes and label them from one to five with concentrations 500, 250, 125, 62.5 and 31.25 picograms per mil. Label tube 6 as negative control. Add 500 microliters of LRW into tubes 2 to 6. Reconstitute the glucan standard with the volume of LRW printed onto the vial label. Please note that the volume of LRW required to reconstitute the glucan standard may change between different fungital kit lots. Add 
at all stages take care to avoid contamination of the LRW as this will be used throughout assay preparation. Cover with parafilm and vortex for 30 seconds to ensure it is well mixed. After vortexing, transfer 500 microliters of glucan standard to dilution tubes 1 and 2. This solution is viscous, so pipette slowly. Contact the inside of the glass tube, drawing the tip upwards to help with dispensing. Vortex tube 2 for 10 seconds. Transfer 500 microliters from tube 2 to tube 3. Vortex for 10 seconds and then continue serial dilutions for the remaining standards in tubes 4 and 5. Once complete, cover the standard tubes and glucan standard vial with fresh parafilm and set aside for later use. To prepare serum samples, we will add alkaline pretreatment solution, APS, and incubate the mixture for 10 minutes at 37 degrees C. There is sufficient pretreatment solution within the vial to treat 21 patient samples. The alkaline pH of the APS inactivates serum proteases and inhibitors that can cause interference. High pH will also unwind glucans with a triple helix structure to single-stranded glucans which are more reactive in the assay. Serum samples should be at room temperature before starting pretreatment. For frozen serum samples, thaw at room temperature for 30 minutes and vortex at medium-high speed for 30 seconds to ensure they are well mixed. If samples are in a gel separator tube, pipette or pour off the serum into a clean vessel prior to vortexing. Off-colour or turbid samples, such as those that are grossly hemolyzed, lipemic or contain excessive bilirubin, may cause optical interference with the assay. If such samples are tested, results should be examined for evidence of optical interference or unusual kinetics. Remove a microplate from its packaging, being careful not to contact the bottom of the plate. For ease of preparation, you may wish to use a plate stand or a marker to label the lid of the plate to show the standards and sample positions. Samples should be added to the microplate in the following way. Firstly, identify the correct microplate well. Then, aspirate 5 microliters of serum. Open the lid of the plate and touch the tip of the pipette to the junction at the bottom and side of the well. Dispense the serum and slowly drag the pipette tip upward. Once sample transfer is complete, visually inspect the plate to ensure that all sample wells contain serum. Set a repeater or single channel pipette to deliver 20 microliters of APS to each well. Note that APS should only be added to wells containing serum samples and not to the standard curve or negative control wells. Deliver APS directly over the top of the sample to allow proper mixing. When adding APS, the dispensing speed and movement between wells should be slow and smooth to avoid splashing into neighbouring wells. Confirm that sample mixture is uniform. Make sure the lid of the microplate is secure and place the prepared microplate into the preheated reader for incubation. Insert the plate into the reader with the lid on for the 10 minute incubation step. Use this incubation time to prepare the fungitel reagent. Fungitel reagent should be reconstituted approximately 10 to 15 minutes before use with all components at room temperature. Add 2.8 ml of LRW directly into the fungitel reagent, then add 2.8 ml of pyrosol buffer in the same way.
Cover the vial with a new piece of parafilm and gently hand swell to mix. Never vortex the fungitile reagent, as this can affect reagent performance. Set aside the reconstituted reagent for later use. At the end of incubation, retrieve the microplate from the reader. Slowly add 25 microliters of each standard, tubes 1 to 5, to their respective wells using the same technique as for serum samples. Add 25 microliters of LRW from tube 6 to the negative control wells of the microplate. Before use, the fungitile reagent vial should be examined. Correctly resuspended fungitile reagent should be translucent with minimal bubbles. Set a repeating pipette to deliver 100 microliter aliquots and deliver 100 microliters of fungitile reagent to all wells. Angle the pipette tip to 45 degrees and dispense fungitile reagent into all used wells, those containing standards, negative controls and samples. Aim for delivery approximately halfway down the wall of the well. Dispensing the reagent at an angle will help to avoid splashing into neighbouring wells, limiting contamination of nearby samples. Add fungital reagent quickly and precisely. The reaction begins in each well as soon as the reagent is added. For this reason, a single channel pipette is not suitable for this step. Replace the microplate lid and move to the reader. Insert the microplate Carefully remove the lid and ensure that the plate reader shakes the plate for 5 to 10 seconds. Read the microplate with the lid removed for 40 minutes at 37 degrees C. Once the assay is complete, there are options to review the results, print a report or export to LIMS. Guidance for result interpretation and quality control criteria for assay and sample are listed in the instructions for use. For additional information and resources, please contact ACC's Technical Services team or visit fungitel.com.